Oh, you fucking idiot. You need to square crank. God. God. Who put you in charge of this fucking game? We gotta make the waterfall disappear so we can make it reappear later or something. It's confusing. The waterfall has to exist in quantum physics. I feel like I bring up that shit too much recently. I'll turn it down. If Stephen Hawking's listening, I'm sorry. I assume that's your favorite part of the Bay videos. Is when I make Schrodinger's cat references. So I apologize for, uh, you know, trying to swear off of them. Levi, you're just in time. Hi. I was just talking about how much I hate Rebecca Chambers, and I'm so glad she's dead. <laughs> and how you killed her on purpose. Yeah. Her? All right. Oh, I figured out what uh, your roommate was yelling about. Oh yeah. His uh, his Pittsburgh Penguins are currently playing my Philadelphia Flyers, <laughs> and it's tied two two right now. I see. <clears throat> All right, we're going outside to do things with a car battery and a crank. Good. So we're going to reenact the movie Crank Two, high voltage. I haven't seen that one. Uh, I don't think I have either. I wanted to. I want to though because I listen occasionally. I listen to a podcast called "How Did This Get Made." I I listen to "How Did This Get Made." And I love it. It's a good show. Um, it's one of those shows I listen to like intermittently. Like I'll, every couple months, I go back through the logs and download like a few new ones. Mm-hmm. But uh, I listen. Did you listen to the Crank Two? I um, haven't. I, I tried to listen to the ones of movies I've seen. Yeah, but I've also what listened to a couple about movies I haven't seen. Um, but they talk to, like, the director or the writer or something like that for the movie, and it just sounds, like, absolutely ridiculous. And it sounds like they intentionally made it, like, yeah. the most ridiculous movie. That's why I can appreciate Crank, yeah. is because they know how stupid it is. And also, it's Jason Statham. Yeah. I'm Jason Statham. Fucking Snake. I once shagged my girlfriend in Chinatown to make my heart keep thumping, because I'm Jason Statham. I didn't get poisoned by that snake, and I'm very thankful for that. It's a good thing to be thankful for. It is. And when I'm sitting down at Thanksgiving dinner, everyone's like, I'm thankful for Jesus or whatever. I'm going to be like, I'm glad no fuck snakes bit me and jumped full poison our gear done past the <laughs> They're like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, here's where we use that car battery to activate a second elevator to take us back up to where we use the crank so we can reuse the crank and flood that passageway again, but then be able to take this elevator down to where the waterfall was. That's the series of events. I'm saying it, and even I don't believe it. <laughs> like, as opposed to you wondering what the hell I'm going on about. Jesus Christ. Like, this stuff exists just to make this game longer. Yeah, there's a lot of backtracking. I guess they could only fit so many areas back in the day. Yeah. It was the PlayStation era. Alright, now we reflood this. Also, there's no shitty FMV of it reflooding. It just... Is. It goes black, you hear water, and then it's yeah, it's filled up. I guess maybe it's because they didn't want to try to explain where the fucking water comes from. Yeah, they're like, oh, it, it Zeus cries. <laughs> That's Zeus's tears. They're like, not Neptune? They're like, no, Neptune's the ocean, you dumb shit. Neptune's the sharks, oh, stupid. forget about it. I wish ancient Greeks thought like that. It's like, why I oughta <laughs> come at you one of them lightning bolts like Zeus. Oh, how about that? A killers, a killeries, a calories, a calories. <laughs> kill the calories. Yep. All right, now we can go where there's no longer a waterfall, so we don't have to chase it, so we win. I mean, it wasn't clearly it wasn't that much water. It yeah. wouldn't have killed you to walk through it. I mean, it wasn't. It was so little water that Chris could see that there was something behind it. Yeah. So there's a lit candle at the end of this. So did Wesker light it? Or was right. it like the Olympic torch? It's just a tunnel? <laughs> it is. Never forget. This is a gross looking tunnel. It's a gross place to be, son. Do I need any of this shit? No. No, I don't. This shit can all remain in my box. Do you want to take a heel item? A fat heel? I think I'm going to find one. It's just Chris ain't got near inventory space. I reckon I can't be carrying no herbs around when I got my... It's either take one green herb or 25 shotgun shells. <laughs> and I know what I'm going to pick in a pinch. All right. What we got here... What we got here is Johnny fucking Boulder. Luckily... There are bloodstains in here. <laughs> yeah. That's not foreboding at all. Nope. All right. All right, then. 
What the hell is this? What the hell's going on in here? Alright. There's a handgun magazine laying there, but the handgun is officially dead to me. <laughs> I no longer have any of its fucking nonsense. Are but, you really not going to use it anymore? Uh, there's another handgun. I don't really have any reason to use it anymore. I've got enough shotgun shells to, to, to carry my ass to the end of the game. And then at the end of the game, when the shotgun shells set me down, I'll have a magnum. And I'll be so refreshed. We're about to meet Enrique, the captain of Stars Bravo. Enrico, or Enrico. Don't come any also, he doesn't Chris. trust Chris very much. Huh. What happened? Double cross. Well, wow. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico. Um, so no. he's talking about there's a traitor in stars, which we know to obviously be Wesker. Mm -hmm. He, like, doesn't trust Chris at all, but if you're playing as Jill, he's just like, oh, hey, Jill, how you doing? Did I mention you're super fucking hot? You couldn't be a traitor. You're too hot. Yeah. hot. You're too hot. <laughs> Never mind, you're too hot. <laughs> I mean, he was already shot. <laughs> Through the heart. And Chris is to blame. I love how all the stars members have their own little different color vests. Yeah, they're like the Planeteers or some shit. <laughs> also, I like to think he was laying there because he fell off that step ladder. <laughs> he was too embarrassed. He didn't want anyone to know. Okay. Hey, I knew you were coming, didn't I? Huh? Hey, you fucking tell you, motherfucker! Me. It's like somebody's played a Resident Evil before. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Nothing will ever beat that zombie in that hallway. <laughs> then I just walked through a door and yelled, fuck you, and blew his fucking head off. God, that's going to be a 10 fay highlight, and it's going to be three seconds long. Good shit. You there won't even put be, that shit on Vine. It won't even be time for the text to pop up to be like, this is a highlight <laughs> from Resident Evil. Um, okay, I need... Um, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I got the, heck, uh, the uh, hexagon crank. So there are actually two cranks in the game. Oh, my God. That's how much this game loves cranks, so. though. <laughs> this game was riding that white pony. <laughs> Does anyone use that phrase anymore other than me? Nope. I don't uh, know if anyone ever did use that phrase. The riding the white pony is a classic, son. I think I got a word from SNL. <laughs> we're just going to shoot the shotgun until it doesn't have shells in it anymore. We're going to Herschel their ass because we're going to stand here for 45 minutes shooting this thing and never have to reload it. <laughs> That's my prerequisite Walking Dead joke for yep. this playthrough, so I hope y'all appreciate it. You nailed it. Levi, get in the house. Take care of your mommy and your sister. <laughs> That's my Rick Grimes impression. It's really good. I'm Rick Grimes. I got a cowboy hat on sometimes. Unless my son's wearing it. I reckon. <laughs> I don't know. Carl, why are you not in that house? God damn it, Carl. <laughs> Carl, I would choke you to death. <laughs> I'll shake the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not necessary to use now, but take one step, and it's like, that's the most hexagonal fucking hole I've ever laid eyes on. Damn. <laughs> this is to rotate the entire passage. It's like fucking Ripley's Believe It or Not. It's like, I don't believe nothing. So what did that accomplish? I can walk through there now. It was a pit before. Oh. Couldn't really tell. It all just kind of looks Yeah. the same. Okay, I need shit in my inventory. That does things. <laughs> Preferably. Alright, that ought to be enough. That ought to tote me. For typewriter, royal type. It's like, I decree my game to be <laughs> saved on this day. I bequeath it. It's such breaking of immersion. It is. I can't even fucking believe what's going on here. Ain't nary lick of sense being made by this game now. Uh, is that all I want? I want it all, and I want it now. Okay, the greenest goddamn herb. You damn right, I'm gonna grab it, son. Grab a hold of that herb. <laughs> Buy a hold of that herb and get locked, y'all. <laughs> These doors could use WD-40. They're really good. All right. Oh yeah, Chris gets a flamethrower. Shit. It's a unique weapon to him, and it's also a piece of shit. <sighs> Fucking worthless. Why'd you pick thing. it up? Uh, you actually have to use it to solve puzzles. <laughs> By putting it on hooks. Okay. I need a boulder to chase me. To knock a hole in a wall. I don't know what triggers it other than your presence. Your personal fucking gravity. Son! 
<laughs> he was definitely already in the little alcove. He just he has a flair for the fantastic. It's a nice looking fire. It is. It's right smart pretty. All right, where the hell am I? We have to fight the black tiger. Of course. <laughs> of course. Also, spoilers. I didn't want you to get freaked out, but the black tiger is actually a giant spider. Oh god. He has black stripes on him. He does. So he's called the black tiger. So God named him. He's like black tiger. They're like, so God, it's a spider. He's like, tiger, tiger. They're like, spider, tiger. Fuck you, suck my dick. I got a flamethrower, and you're a piece of shit spider. I hate you so much. I've always hated you the most, black tiger. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, oh, he's dead. He's Get down here so I can kill you. <laughs> You crazy nut. Get down here right Stop now. Stop trying to jizz all over my head. It's very unprofessional. You son of a bitch. You think I ain't got guns that shoot projectiles? Huh? Fuck you. Alright. <laughs> now we brought him down earth. Also, you'll notice that it has enough fuel to fight this boss. Yeah. Is that what it's meant for, I assume? Basically. There's also a knife in this room for cutting these webs. In case you don't have your knife with you. Can you shoot these webs? No, you can't. I think you could burn them with the flamethrower. Fun fact. <laughs> so I guess you said you need it for puzzles, for hanging on hooks, but yeah. obviously it doesn't... Like, you can still keep it with 0%. Yeah. yeah there's no fuel for it or anything. Well, hey, how you doing? I'll be cutting this shit. You can actually try to run over here and hack through this shit and ignore the giant spider, but... He tends to find that terribly rude and upsetting. <laughs> he doesn't handle rejection very well. All right. We did it. Good for us. Okay. Is there anything down here that anyone would want? A map, I suppose. A lot of blue about. herbs in case you got poisoned, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. And then here's where you put the flame cover back down. <laughs> Do you have to pick it up again, or is you, are you done with it? Uh, I think you when you when if you go back the other way, you have to take it with you to put on the other lap. Also, there's another puzzle with one of these, and, and you use a broken flamethrower on it. You actually even do that one as Jill. Why is it with all the weird flamethrower door locks? <laughs> it's, nothing about this fucking place makes sense. Okay, we have to turn this like three fucking times, so... <laughs> I hope you, hope you got something to keep yourself occupied. I don't know why they make you use it over and over instead of it just like the other one working the first time. Yeah. Also, why couldn't you just walk through it the way it has been these past two times? Now the... Gotta not get rolled over again. <laughs> it's a lot of boulders. You didn't think this game had this many boulders in it, did you? No, I, I he honestly didn't know that. He also didn't do a sweet scissor kick flip into no. there this time like he did last time. He just kind of jauntily stepped to the side. I've just preemptively become exhausted because I just remember the, the quote-unquote puzzle we have to solve in that room and how tedious it is. No, I don't want this first aid box. Stop wasting my fucking time. I got shit to do. <laughs> Alright. I got puzzles that I don't want to do. So here's the thing. We need to push a statue, specifically. This statue needs to be in this hole, but it needs to be facing like that one is. And so we have to use this little turntable. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here's how you do solve this in a world where you can only push. In a world where pulling... It's like the invention of lying. The ca capacity to pull things had never been invented. We put it right there. Yes. We run over here. We crank the wall. It pushes it away from the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> I mentioned this game is fucking idiotic. <laughs> then we turn this again to recede that into the wall. We'll get there someday, Levi. <laughs> so instead he wins the race. <laughs> you can't count all your chickens for you burn them behind you, son. You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. I'm pretty sure John Lennon said that. <laughs> Alright, now we push you on the turntable. You turn... Then we push you off the turntable. And then back on. And then we push it back on the turntable. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
This puzzle's in the original, except no turntable in the middle. They couldn't... The PlayStation 1 couldn't handle the <laughs> physics of a fucking ceramic turntable in the middle of a room. God damn. Alright. We're getting her there, son. I thought you were fucked. The yeah, thing, I, I, thought you I almost it. thought I was too, and I would have quit the game and beat my YouTube channel and deleted all the videos. <laughs> and become a, a hermit that lived in the woods. To get a roll of duct tape. It's what it looks like. It's actually half of a time cylinder. <laughs> we need the time cylinder to turn an elevator on. It makes sense. At least the car <laughs> battery made sense for powering an elevator. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're, we're getting there. Fuck you, Boulder. <laughs> yeah. Just shoot it. The Rock of Gibraltar over here. The Rock of Jabroni. Oh, do I? I don't have any inventory spaces open, do I? I thought you did. Cause I gotta put, I gotta put that flamethrower back. Where is, was it at? It was right there, wasn't it? God damn! Why is that fucking thing even in the game? What if your inventory was completely full here? What would you do? You just kind of fucked, I guess. I guess I'll just eat this herb. I'm the healthiest motherfucker. High as shit. Why is there a flamethrower lock? <laughs> I don't understand. Is this some kind of Japanese cultural thing that I don't get? <laughs> like, oh, this goes back to great honorable frame for our dynasty. <laughs> I'm like, I see. <laughs> like, they couldn't even lock doors back then. The walls are made of paper. <laughs> hey, bye. If the walls are made of paper, the man with the flame throw is king. That's why they're so highly regarded and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> We're all the way in favor. The flamethrower is king. That's true. <laughs> Will you set the flamethrower? Do you know you can legally buy flamethrowers and they're like three hundred dollars? Yeah. Do you know why? Uh, there's some. It's because they're the only weapon that can fight bees. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's store. Also. These knives are exactly the same, except one is capitalized and one isn't. I don't quite understand. That drives that. me fucking crazy. <laughs> the knife Chris starts with is the lowercase one as well. It's very odd. All right, what do we need? We got our time cylinder. So why do you have two? Because uh, there's one in the room with the giant spider. In case you didn't have one, oh, okay. so like in real survivor you. mode, gotcha. you're not like I have to go back and get a knife, and then you uninstall the game and go to Capcom HQ and kill yourselves on the front step. <laughs> Just as an example. <laughs> Fucking commit Sudoku. So commit Sudoku. <laughs> With a knife that you don't have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult. Commit shotgun Sudoku. <laughs> Alright. God damn, I just looked over at Audacity and saw how long we've been recording. It's a very long time. It's been one non-stop thrill ride. You left the room to piss, but I literally haven't got up off this couch. I'm taking these hanging magazines now because it feels so wasteful to leave them here. <laughs> and Think yeah. of all those poor kids in Africa. They like to have a hang-up magazine right now. <laughs> so I'm not going to leave them. All right. All right. Here's the other half of the time cylinder. <laughs> Just that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a shaft. It's a time shaft, I guess. Of course. All right, we combine these, and then we examine them. So the and order you travel back in time. Yeah, the order looks to be four, two, three, one. So let's see if, how correct I am. Because not only do you have to put the time shaft in here, you have to press the buttons in the right order. Four, two, three, one. And now the elevator has power. Good for us. Is that the elevator? Yeah. Well, it's more of a lift. Yeah. A service <laughs> elevator. I'm sorry if I misrepresented it on my OSHA <laughs> safety inspection. They're like, um, this isn't an elevator. Apparently it's Jeff Goldblum. He's like, ah, yes, this is, um, uh, in fact, a, uh, a lift. Have you seen the YouTube video of the guy who sounds like Jeff Goldblum describing how his cat eats? I don't think so. It, his cat's name is Scoopy, and his cat... Goes to its food bowl and it's got like little round, like kibble, hard food, and it takes its paw in there and pulls out one piece at a time out of the bowl and then eats it off the floor, and does that until it eats the entire thing. And he just sits there and narrates the entire fucking process. <laughs> it's so fascinating. Uh, my dog, we keep her food and water bowls in the bathroom, and she'll go in and grab 
like a mouthful of food, is like dry food, and mm-hmm. she'll bring that mouthful like outside of the bathroom door, uh, and like chomp the a mouthful of food, and like pieces will fall, and she'll pick them up, and then when she's done, she'll like go and grab another mouthful and bring it back out to eat. That's about right. All right, this is a really confusing area, it's even when you're not using new convoluted control scheme. All right, I do want these herbs. So I have a, a hankering for so them. So many herbs. I wonder if you can grind them up and make like spicy chicken or gumbo with them. I got them just in like little pot, little pots. Also, don't tell uh, Senor Bojangles, but I ate at a Popeye's chicken the other day for the first time, and it was fucking delicious. Popeye's is delicious. Their biscuits are so good. They are. How? Why can no other place have those biscuits? <laughs> okay. have, you, have you ever eaten at a uh, church's chicken? No. They're also great. Do we have any around there? There's one in Jacksonville. Jacksonville? Mm-hmm. That's Damn. a place you go sometimes. That's where I ate at Popeye's. Really? Oh. Where's the churches? It's in, like, downtown. Oh, um, shit. I never go downtown, son. Ev- if every church's chicken is in the worst part of every city that it's in. <laughs> I see. Without fail. Is it because it also doubles a religious institution? Yeah. All right. I'm not going. To, that hanging magazine and rot. Call the kids now. Wouldn't Africa. it not take up any extra space? No, I, I stored the other oh, one okay. in an item box. All right. This box has a broken flamethrower in it, so we had to use this conveyor belt to take it all the way back to the previous lift room, so we can crush it in a hydraulic press to get the flamethrower out of it, so we can set it on a latch and unlock a door. <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. <laughs> also, we had to do that while avoiding Lisa Trevor. Jesus. So, it's not... It's, it's, there's some stuff happening. In RE5, can't you just knife boxes yeah. when they open? Yeah, you could do that in any other sensible game. Oh. We're almost there. I mean... Alright. <laughs> Obviously, people like this game because it's been remade about a thousand fucking times. It's such a good game. It has its problems. It's not perfect, but it ain't bad. I mean, it could stand to be a mite bit gooder. I mean, it's pretty good. Fuck you, Lisa Trevor. It's pretty good to be t- almost 20 years old. At this She's point. so offended that I yelled she and is. shot at her. I'm sorry, Lisa Trevor. I didn't mean nothing by it. It's just that I fucking hate you and you're disgusted. What if you just got a fucking headshot on her? That one just shot. killed her. Yeah. And she even came out and said, What? <laughs> Jima <laughs> just said notifying Capcom <laughs> of the hacks. All right. I want a, another Umbrella Chronicles type game where you just play as Lisa Trevor. You Son. just want you play go back and forth between playing as Lisa Trevor and the grenade zombie that you're talking about. Oh God, Forrest. Yeah. Uh, in Umbrella Chronicles, when you play as Wesker, he does get menaced by Lisa Trevor, and he's like, "You crazy fucking bitch." <laughs> Because this is after he gets his fucking Matrix superpowers. Ah. And so he's just running around at the speed of sound. And he's got places to go and he has to follow his rainbow. And he's fucking unstoppable. Also, he gets like cat eyes. That's why I call him Cat Eye Wesker. <laughs> when Wesker was revealed to not be dead and also to be Keanu Reeves, like, it, I was so. It caught me so off guard. Because it's in Code Veronica you find out about that, which is the fourth Resident Evil game after two and three. Mm-hmm. And so I was just playing it and I was like, oh, Chris Redfield, da, da, da. And then Wesker showed up and I was like, what? Mm-hmm. Beg pardon? I'm oh, sorry, what? Nani? <laughs> Pourquoi? All right. I always get nervous when I climb inside this thing. Yeah. To get the broken flame. Like it's going to fucking crush you? Also, I don't know if it was broken before <laughs> the hydraulic press, because if you look at it, it looks like she got a little, little crushed. That's very true. It was probably fine She's before. a little hee-honked. <laughs> the muzzle's broken. Just like a sad dog. Oh, that is sad. All right. The climb, ladder climbing animation in this game is so smooth, especially he's holding an assault shotgun. <laughs> What's your uh, favorite feeling in an enchilada? Jesus. Um, Because recently I was at the Plaza Mexico and I tried uh, both the bean enchilada and the cheese enchilada and they were so much better than the chicken or the beef. They were goddamn delicious. I've been... uh, Suck a dick, Lisa Trevor. She's like, I'm trying to. And Chris is like, oh God, we have to get out of here. (laughs) This just got very early. 
I've been... I'm on a diet. Right? This is actually ta- timed, by the way. I have to get to that fucking switch before Jesus it goes back across. But I guess, sorry. Anyway. I'm on, so I'm on a diet right now, and uh-huh. part of my diet is I'm not eating red meat. And so I've been eating... So you've been dying steaks blue? Yeah. So I've uh, I've been eating a lot of uh, bean burritos from uh, Taco Bell. Ooh. Uh, and I've just, I never get those. They're delicious, and they're 99 cent. And so I get to... Like, literally my lunch... Like, a lot of days has been, like, two bean burritos with no cheese. You like the ambience of this room? Jesus Christ. It's like a fucking, uh... This is where Lisa Trevor lives. Of course. That makes sense. Also, no, not to get you too alarmed, but water moccasins. My. This (laughs) game... This is the true horror. This game's fucking creepy. Like, it's creepy in some, some places. And that's like a re- actual realistic thing, is yeah, water moccasins. That's probably why it's creepy. Yeah, just like the big spiders, like just the idea of a real thing, like spiders being bigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but I so I really like like refried beans or the Mexican beans. I think they're delicious. So. Oh, the refried beans at Plaza Mexico. They got like cheese melted on them. Fucking mm. delicious. Also, it's the only restaurant I've ever been to where the, I'm surprised the plate doesn't burn through the table when yeah. they bring it out there. They're like, plate is very hot. The guy comes out in a fucking one of those suits you wear <laughs> when you take lava core samples. <laughs> and he's holding the plate away from him with one of them blacksmith tongs. <laughs> and he's like, the plate, she is a, a bit hot. She's more caliente. But they... <laughs> They say the plate's very hot, but they still try to hand it to you. I know, they throw it at your lap. And they're like, I said it was hot. (laughs) Andale arriba, and they run out of the room. (laughs) All right, we're back at the shed where Lisa Trevor knocked us out earlier. Oh, shit. So we looped around. Uh, Anyway, God, Plaza Mexico is so delicious, and, like, you get so much. Yeah. Like, Mexican places always give you more food than anywhere else, because I go in there, and I order, I'm like, hey, I'll have one of these, and they're like, oh, sir, we had to reinforce the table to hold all these food. <laughs> yeah, I've been eating a lot of Taco Bell over the last few months, uh, just because it's so cheap, uh-huh. and it's delicious, and uh, really, you can... I can still eat it on my diet because I can eat stuff that's not terrible for you. Yeah. Pretty much just avoid, like, nacho cheese and you're okay. Well, that's easy to do. You just have somebody, preferably like your wife, every time you go to eat something to grab it from you and yell, that's nacho cheese. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> What's the good cheese, then? Um, I, I'm cheese? actually doing no cheese anyway. No cheese? Yeah. So I've been... My lunch, a lot of times, has been... Two bean burritos with no onions. Spin a plain pizza crust. Yeah. And fucking, you're like, let me get chili cheese fries. Sands the uh, cheese there. A little extra chili wouldn't hurt nobody. And, and they're like, what? <laughs> really, I should be eating, like, the just the pinto beans, like, without the tortilla. But I can't, I've yet to bring myself to order pintos and cheese with no cheese, because it just seems wrong. What about pimento cheese? Oh, God. You're not a fan? It's, no. It's fan. rough stuff. So. Yeah. You don't just... One doesn't simply walk into the pimento cheese. <laughs> you are the slowest fucking zombie on Earth. He's like, this is very nice. <laughs> Jesus, man. But yeah, so part, as part of my diet, I'm not eating red meat. And once I reach a certain milestone that I've set, I can't remember which one it is, that I'm aiming to reach it in, like, August. Uh, once I reach that, I'm going to... Uh, Eat buy, meat and I'm, cheese I'm, nonstop. I'm going to go buy a big-ass steak. I'm going out to a steak dinner. Are you going to get cheese on that thing? Uh, no, I'm getting a fucking loaded baked potato, though. Oh, shit, yeah. And I'm also not drinking alcohol right now, so I'm going to be drinking... Uh, I don't understand beer. what you do all day. <laughs> you apparently sit in a room eating packing peanuts and crying. <laughs> and then drinking the tears. <laughs> You're like, they're packed full of beta carotene. Yeah, I have a list on my phone of foods I'm not eating and foods I'm limiting. I've been eating a lot of ramen recently because it's cheap, and if you modify it, pretty good. Yeah, you can do a lot with ramen. I found out you can put an egg in it, and it's amazing. It turns it into egg drop soup ramen. Yeah, you just have to do it the right way. Oh, yeah, I've been eating a lot of hard-boiled eggs also. You know what I also discovered, and I, it's the best hacks ever, hmm. is you can take, uh, when you're done eating the noodles and you've got the broth left over, you can put oyster crackers in it. That sounds delicious, actually. Also, how do you eat oyster crackers with oysters? It's like the one thing you can't eat them with. Yeah, I don't under- I never understand where that name comes from. I guess from stewed oysters, but... Who the hell stews oysters, huh? I feel like it probably comes from some weird thing related to, like, the shape of them. 
the shape of the world. I haven't had any oysters this winter. Yeah. Winter is coming. It's oyster time. Yeah. I ate some, and I sung a song like Brack from the Brack Show <laughs> about fish pockets. I did eat a shitload of bull shrimp the other night, though. Ah, oh, shrimp. It was so good. I was so disappointed because I was listening to the Rooster Teeth podcast, and like Gus and Bernie and all them were talking about how much they hate shrimp. Oh, yeah. Which, they're in Texas, but still. Yeah. But still. Well, that's too, because they're in Texas. Every time they start talking about barbecue, they feel the need to shit on North Carolina of barbecue. Of course. They're like, well, this is vinegar nonsense. Yeah, or pork, for that matter. Yeah. I do want to try the Texas barbecue place to open in Havelock. I've never been in there. Oh, yeah. We're finally going in the spooky, moany Myrtle door. Oh, God. Since we've already encountered what was down here 15 times, I guess we're not really that worried. Yeah. Now it's just a door. Wesker's about to help us fight a boss because he's good people. He's our best friend and he'll always be there for us. He'll uh, never betray us. And I love him to death. I won't hear a bad word about him. <laughs> and he's like, Chris, you'll put on a little weight. Chris is like, you're dead, man. <laughs> Care yourself. <laughs> uh, oh shit! We're about to. This is the boss fight against Jesus Lisa Christ. Trevor. I'm glad that there's fucking automatic like invisible walls on the edge of that. It's a very dangerous area. So yeah, this is the boss fight against Lisa Trevor. But spoilers, you still don't kill her. Jesus, <laughs> she's very resilient to being killed. She's death proof. Oh, I get it. All right. He's so good at climbing the ladder by holding a shotgun. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Son. All right, so I have to push these four statues off of this to counterbalance these chains to open that sarcophagus. Okay. Wesker, can you put a few bullets in that bitch? Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Oh, shit. Holy shit! Did you know that could happen? I didn't know that could happen! Mike, that fucking caught... God, I don't know when the last time I was safe was. <laughs> Holy shit, I had no idea that could happen. Well? I'm so genuinely <laughs> taken aback. I think I saved way back before I fought that fucking spider. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, we may have to continue this another yeah. time. <laughs> Damn it. Let's see where you saved. Yeah, it's Courtyard B1, which is where that spider is. Jesus. Motherfucker. I, I would have saved before Lisa Trevor because I had no fucking idea. Those, didn't know those was a one-hit uh, <laughs> scenario? <laughs> All right. God damn. All right. So, the next time we go to record this, I'll probably have just played back up to Lisa Trevor. I There's not much left. After her is the lab, there was probably about another, like, 40 minutes of game left. So we'll knock her out one afternoon, son. Yeah. We'll have us some mojitos. Yeah, shit. Next time I, next time I come over, uh, we can fucking knock that out and then maybe start off the record. Or finish Fire Red. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I forgot that was a thing. Ah, uh, that's never going to happen. It isn't. The Pokemon died. Yeah. And Animal and fat dies. TV's the box they're going to bury it in. 